my drum and train. Do you really know about the tragic life of Shirley Temple behind the charming curls and infectious smile? Beyond her role as Hollywood's darling during tough economic times, Shirley's life was marked by intense pressures, demanding schedules, and objectification. While she maintained a cheerful demeanor on screen, the reality behind the scenes was far more challenging. Good ship, lollipop, it's sweet. Dive with us into the hidden chapters of Shirley Temple's life as we explore the darker side of her fame and uncover the resilience behind the smile of this tiny superstar. A star is born. Have you ever wondered what it takes to become a Hollywood legend? For Shirley Temple, it all began in the sun-kissed town of Santa Monica, California. Her story is one of prodigious talent discovered at a tender age and a journey that would shape the entertainment industry forever. From the moment she could talk and walk, Shirley's parents, George and Gertrude Temple, noticed something extraordinary in their daughter. Her charming smile, sparkling blue eyes, and a lively personality were her earliest assets. But it was her natural flair for singing, dancing, and acting that truly set her apart. At the age of just three, Young Shirley made her screen debut in the film Baby Burlesques, a series of short films produced by Educational Pictures in the early 1930s. These films, known for their satirical take on popular adult movies of the time, featured toddlers in miniature versions of adult roles, complete with witty and often tongue-in-cheek dialogues. Shirley Temple's ability to deliver lines with a maturity beyond her years combined with her boundless energy and captivating screen presence, left a lasting impression. At a time when most children were taking their first steps and forming their first words, she was already stealing scenes and capturing the hearts of audiences. The trajectory of Shirley's career can be traced back to her mother, Gertrude Temple. Gertrude, a resilient and ambitious woman, recognized the potential in her daughter and was determined to nurture her talent. She took on the role of a stage mother with strength and commitment, guiding Shirley through the complex world of showbiz. It was under her watchful eye that Shirley began her journey as a child star. As Shirley's appearances in baby burlesques garnered attention, it became clear that she possessed a rare gift. She could effortlessly sing, dance, and act with a maturity that belied her age. Audiences marveled at her precociousness, and Hollywood took notice. But it was not just her talent that set her apart, it was also her iconic hairstyle. In the world of Hollywood stardom, image is everything. And when it came to Shirley Temple, her image was carefully crafted, down to the very last detail. One of the most iconic and enduring aspects of Shirley's image was her distinctive hairstyle, characterized by exactly 56 curls. It was a hairstyle that would become her trademark, but the significance of this number remains lost to history. Shirley's mother, Gertrude, was the mastermind behind this meticulously crafted hairstyle. Each time Shirley made an appearance, whether on screen or in public, her mother would take great care in styling her hair. She believed that this unique hairstyle would set her daughter apart in the competitive world of Hollywood. These curly locks then became a symbol of innocence, charm, and childhood purity. Shirley's image was carefully curated to embody these qualities, and the curls played a key role in her star power. They added an element of sweetness and playfulness to her appearance, reinforcing her status as the quintessential child star. Hollywood's Golden Child What does it take for a child to conquer Hollywood, a realm dominated by seasoned actors and industry veterans? For Shirley Temple, the answer lay in her extraordinary talent, charisma, and impeccable timing. Emerging in popularity during the 1930s, she quickly became Hollywood's brightest star, enchanting audiences with her undeniable charm. Shirley's transition from baby burlesques to mainstream cinema was meteoric. Her early appearances in the satirical short films of baby burlesques had hinted at her potential, but it was her role in the 1934 film Stand Up and Cheer that catapulted her to stardom. In the film, she played an orphan who captivates audiences with her singing and dancing, 
providing a glimmer of hope amidst the challenges of the Great Depression. However, it was Bright Eyes, released the same year, that truly solidified Shirley's status as Hollywood's golden child. In the film, she portrayed Shirley Blake, a young girl who navigates the complexities of adult relationships and intrigues with her precocious wisdom. It was a role that showcased not only her acting prowess, but also her remarkable ability to connect with both children and adults. Bright Eyes featured her rendition of the timeless song On the Good Ship Lollipop, which would become her signature tune. Another one of her most memorable roles during this period was in the 1935 film Curly Top. In the movie, she portrayed an orphan named Elizabeth Blair, whose life takes a turn for the better when she is adopted by a wealthy benefactor. Shirley's endearing portrayal of the plucky and lovable orphan was a hit with audiences, and the film's success further solidified her status as Hollywood's golden child. As Hollywood's top box office draw, Shirley's films were a much-needed escape from the challenges of the era, providing not only entertainment but also a sense of hope. She often played characters who faced adversity with unwavering optimism and a can-do spirit. In a world that was grappling with the harsh realities of the Great Depression, Shirley Temple's films offered a ray of sunshine, reminding audiences that even in the darkest of times, there was room for joy and laughter. Shirley Temple's exceptional talents were not only acknowledged by audiences, but also by the film industry itself. In 1935, at the age of just six, Shirley received a special Juvenile Academy Award, custom made to be about half the size of a regular Oscar. This was a unique acknowledgement by the Academy to recognize the talents of young performers without having them compete directly with adult actors. Shirley was presented the award in a heartwarming moment at the 6th Academy Awards Ceremony in 1935. Her acceptance speech, delivered with a child's innocence and sincerity, endeared her even further to the audience. She remarked, I want to thank the Academy for this, and my mommy and daddy, and my baby brother for helping me, and Mr. Daryl Fari, Zanuk, and everybody in the whole wide world. Her ability to bring hope and happiness during challenging times cemented her status as a Hollywood icon and a beloved figure in the hearts of generations to come. Exploitation and Rumors One of the most tragic aspects of Shirley Temple's life story is the exploitation she endured at the hands of the film industry. From the moment she burst onto the scene as a precocious child star, she was thrust into a world that demanded unwavering commitment and sacrifices beyond her years. The film industry demanded long hours on set, extensive rehearsals, and a relentless schedule that left little time for a normal childhood. Shirley was required to deliver consistent performances, regardless of her own personal circumstances or emotions. This relentless pace of work took a toll on her physical and emotional well-being, leaving her physically exhausted and emotionally drained. Moreover, Shirley's mother, Gertrude Temple, who had been instrumental in launching her career, faced accusations of pushing her daughter too hard. Gertrude's ambitious and sometimes aggressive management of Shirley's career raised eyebrows, and some critics argued that she was complicit in the exploitation of her own child. Moreover, Shirley Temple's earnings as a child star were managed by her parents and 20th Century Fox, the studio she was under contract with. While her films generated significant revenue, Shirley herself saw only a fraction of her earnings. Her parents and the studio controlled her finances, and despite her immense popularity, she did not have access to her own wealth. Shirley Temple's journey into stardom began at an incredibly young age, and her early experiences with the filming of Baby Burlesques offer a glimpse into the darker side of the film industry. This film set was far from the ideal environment for children. Behind the scenes, misbehaving children, including Shirley, were subjected to disturbing forms of punishment. One particularly harrowing practice was the 
punishment box, a windowless sound booth in which disobedient children were made to sit on a block of ice as a form of discipline. This chilling punishment was used as a means of exerting control over young actors, a stark reminder of the dark side of Hollywood's exploitation of child stars. While Shirley Temple's talent and charm were evident on screen, behind the scenes, she, like other children, was subjected to exploitation and harsh discipline that no child should endure. As if the pressures of fame and the exploitation on set were not enough, Shirley Temple faced a terrifying incident at the age of 10 that would shake her world and highlight the darker side of celebrity. During a live radio appearance in 1939, Shirley was the target of an assassination attempt. As she was performing on the radio show, a woman approached the stage, holding a gun pointed directly at Shirley. Apparently, the woman was under the belief that Shirley had stolen her late daughter's soul, and by killing her, she would be able to get it back. Although the woman was quickly apprehended, this incident is representative of the dark underbelly of the celebrity world, where the adoration of fans can sometimes veer into obsession and violence. It serves as a stark reminder of the risks and dangers that could come with fame, even for a child. As Shirley Temple's career continued to flourish, she found herself, under the spotlight, at one of Hollywood's major studios, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. While MGM was known for producing some of the most iconic films of the era, it also had its share of challenges. One unsettling encounter Shirley had at MGM was with producer Arthur Freed. Freed, known for his work on musicals and later for producing classics like Singin' in the Rain, was in a private meeting with the young actress when he inappropriately exposed himself in an incident that left her deeply uncomfortable. Yet, even after facing such adversity at MGM, Shirley was not shielded from the fabrications of Hollywood's rumor mill. Despite her proven talent and innocence, the industry's desire for sensationalism spared no one, not even its youngest star. One of the most persistent rumors was the claim that Shirley Temple was not actually a child, but rather an adult actress who had been subjected to a range of medical procedures to make her appear younger. This outlandish conspiracy theory gained traction among some members of the public, who believed that Shirley's ageless appearance was the result of secret treatments. The rumor was so pervasive that 20th Century Fox took the unprecedented step of releasing Shirley's birth certificate and conducting a medical examination to prove her age. Another rumor that circulated about Shirley was that she was not actually a natural redhead, but had her hair artificially dyed. This rumor, while less outlandish than the previous one, was still rooted in a desire to demystify her image and cast doubt on her authenticity as a child star. Many people refused to believe that a child could achieve the level of success and fame that Shirley had. One of the most persistent and peculiar rumors about her was the claim that she did not actually exist as a real person. Some conspiracy theorists argued that she was a product of Hollywood magic, a fictional character created to capture the hearts of the American public, while others thought she had made a pact with Satan to gain such success. This bizarre rumor, which seems ludicrous in retrospect, gained traction during her early career. As it turns out, even the most beloved and iconic figures in the industry are not immune to the sensationalism and scandal that often accompanies fame. Beyond Childhood Stardom What happens when a beloved child star, whose infectious smile and boundless talent charmed the world, grows up and faces the harsh realities of adulthood? As Shirley Temple entered her teenage years, she faced the inevitable challenge of transitioning from being America's sweetheart to a young adult actress. The transition was not without its difficulties, as her image had been firmly established as a child star. Audiences had grown accustomed to seeing Shirley as the adorable, curly-haired moppet who could sing and dance her way into their hearts. 
Despite her undeniable talent, the roles that once catapulted her to stardom became scarcer as she grew older. The decline in her film popularity was a reflection of the changing tastes of moviegoers, and the industry struggled to find suitable roles for a maturing actress. Shirley's transition from child star to young adult actress was met with mixed success. While she continued to make films, including Since You Went Away and Kiss and Tell, her box office appeal waned. The adoration that had once propelled her to the top of Hollywood's A-list was now tinged with nostalgia. Recognizing the shifting dynamics of her career, Shirley Temple strategically pivoted towards television. In 1958, she launched Shirley Temple's Storybook, a television series that featured adaptations of classic fairy tales and children's stories. The show provided a platform for Shirley to remain in the public eye and showcase her versatility as an actress beyond the confines of her childhood persona. Shirley Temple's storybook allowed Shirley to reconnect with her audience in a new and enduring way. While the show primarily targeted a younger audience, it also endeared her to adults who had grown up watching her on the silver screen. Shirley's transition to television marked a shrewd move that kept her in the entertainment spotlight and ensured her lasting relevance in the industry. While Shirley Temple's professional life was marked by resilience and adaptability, her personal life was not without its share of struggles. One aspect of her untold life story involves her marriages to John Agar and Charles Alden Black, which shed light on the complexities of her private world. Her first marriage was to John Agar, an aspiring actor she met while filming Ford Apache. They wed in 1945 when Shirley was just 17 years old, and the union was met with great enthusiasm by the media and the public. However, the realities of their relationship were far from the fairy tale romances that Shirley often portrayed on screen. The challenges within Shirley and John's marriage were exacerbated by the pressures of fame and the strains of a young couple navigating the complexities of adulthood. The marriage ultimately ended in divorce in 1949, just four years after their wedding. The dissolution of her first marriage was a turning point in Shirley's personal life and marked the beginning of her journey towards finding lasting love and stability. In 1950, Shirley Temple found love again, this time with Charles Alden Black, a California businessman. Their romance blossomed, leading to their marriage later that year. Unlike her first marriage, Shirley's relationship with Charles Alden Black endured the tests of time and celebrity life. The marriage to Charles provided Shirley with the stability and happiness she had longed for. They welcomed a daughter, Linda Susan, in 1948, and a son, Charles Jr., in 1952. The couple's strong bond and commitment to family life offered Shirley the solace and security she had sought, political aspirations and diplomatic career. In 1967, the world knew Shirley Temple as the curly-haired child sensation who had captured hearts across America. Her transition from child star to accomplished actress and later to a political aspirant might have seemed unexpected, but it was driven by a deep desire for change. Shirley's entry into politics was marked by her decision to run for the United States House of Representatives, representing California's 11th Congressional District. Shirley's motivation for entering politics was rooted in her experiences as a mother and a concerned citizen, having witnessed the tumultuous social and political landscape of the 1960s. During her campaign, she advocated for a range of issues, including support for the Vietnam War, a tough stance on crime, and the preservation of family values. Her political platform reflected her conservative values, aligning with her personal beliefs and convictions. Though her bid for a congressional seat eventually resulted in her defeat, as she failed to secure the nomination, her journey in politics was far from over. Shirley Temple's aspirations for political change in the United States would eventually lead her down a different path, one that would make her a prominent figure in diplomatic circles. 
Her appointment as the United States Ambassador to Czechoslovakia under President George H.W. Bush marked a significant shift in her career and set the stage for her impactful role in international relations. But Shirley's dedication to public service extended beyond her diplomatic career. Her legacy includes her tenure as the United States Ambassador to Ghana and her work with the United Nations General Assembly, where she made significant contributions to humanitarian causes and global cooperation. As a devoted advocate for children's rights, Shirley Temple served as a delegate to the United Nations General Assembly from 1969 to 1974. During her tenure, she focused on issues related to child welfare and international relations. Her passion for protecting children from exploitation and abuse was evident in her advocacy work, which included campaigns to improve child health care and education worldwide. Shirley's public service also extended to her role as the international chairman of the Multiple Sclerosis International Federation. She used her platform to raise awareness about multiple sclerosis, a disease that she herself had been diagnosed with in 1972. Her advocacy efforts aimed to destigmatize the condition and promote research for its treatment and cure. In recognition of her outstanding contributions to diplomacy, public service, and humanitarian causes, Shirley Temple received numerous awards and honors throughout her life. She was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2006, one of the highest civilian honors in the United States, in recognition of her exceptional career and dedication to making the world a better place. Where did her money go? Shirley Temple, the beloved child actress of the 1930s, amassed a staggering fortune during her early career. But her journey through adulthood was marked by complex financial challenges, Shirley's films were box office gold, and her popularity knew no bounds. However, the financial arrangements in Hollywood during her era were vastly different from those of today. Child stars like Shirley often did not have the same level of financial control or transparency that modern actors enjoy. Despite this, her income from her film career was undeniably substantial. By the age of 12, she was reported to be earning a whopping $50,000 per movie, a staggering sum in the 1930s. When adjusted for inflation, this figure is even more eye-popping, equivalent to millions of dollars in today's economy. In addition to her film earnings, Shirley's image became a gold mine for merchandising. Her likeness adorned dolls, clothing, and a multitude of products, further boosting her income. It's estimated that she earned around $200,000 annually from endorsements and merchandise, an astonishing amount for a child star of her time. But the financial story of Shirley Temple is not just about the money she made during her years as a child actress. The mismanagement of her fortune is a tale of financial woes and complex decisions that unfolded over the years. One factor that contributed to the mismanagement of Shirley's wealth was the era in which she rose to stardom. In the 1930s and 1940s, child actors often did not have the legal protections and financial oversight that exist today. Shirley's parents, Gertrude and George Temple, were entrusted with her finances, but the arrangements were far from ideal. Her father, George, was known to be financially reckless, and her mother, Gertrude, faced challenges in overseeing her husband's spending habits and the family's financial affairs. Another factor was the impact of the Great Depression. The economic turmoil of the era affected many, including Hollywood stars. Investments that seemed sound at the time took a hit, and the financial landscape became increasingly unpredictable. One significant financial decision made on Shirley's behalf was the purchase of a home in Brentwood, California, during her peak earning years. The home, dubbed the Temple Estate, was an extravagant mansion that boasted a swimming pool, tennis courts, and extensive grounds. While the property was undoubtedly grand, its purchase had far-reaching financial consequences. The upkeep and maintenance of such a lavish estate placed a substantial burden on Shirley's finances. 
As Shirley Temple's career waned with her transition to adulthood, the financial challenges continued to mount. She faced the difficult reality that the film roles that had once made her a sensation were becoming scarcer. The income that had flowed so generously during her youth began to dwindle, leaving her with the responsibility of managing the wealth she had amassed. Despite the mismanagement and financial setbacks, Shirley Temple made efforts to secure her financial future. She returned to show business in the 1950s, starring in television programs like Shirley Temple's Storybook. Finally, the end of Shirley's life marked the closing chapter of a remarkable journey through fame, fortune, and financial trials. At the time of her death, she left behind an estate that was considerably smaller than the fortune she had earned during her peak years as a child star. Estimates suggest that her net worth at the time of her passing was around $10 million. While this is by no means an insignificant sum, it is a fraction of the vast wealth Shirley Temple had generated during her heyday. The challenges of mismanagement, extravagant spending, and economic fluctuations had taken their toll. Final Years and Death Shirley Temple's journey in Hollywood was nothing short of extraordinary. From the moment she danced onto the screen as a child star, she captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. Her unique talent, Infectious optimism and undeniable charisma set her apart from her peers, making her Hollywood's top box office draw in the 1930s. But Shirley's impact extended far beyond the box office. She became a cultural phenomenon. In recognition of her remarkable achievements, she received a slew of awards and honors throughout her life. One of the most notable recognitions was the Kennedy Center Honors, awarded to her in 1998. This prestigious accolade celebrated her exceptional contributions to the performing arts and solidified her status as a legendary figure in American entertainment. Shirley's legacy was also honored with the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award in 2006, a testament to her enduring influence on the world of acting. This award, bestowed upon individuals who have made outstanding contributions to the acting profession, acknowledged her remarkable career that spanned decades and left an indelible mark on cinema history. Shirley Temple's influence extended far beyond the boundaries of cinema. Her name became synonymous with an iconic, non-alcoholic drink, the Shirley Temple. This mocktail, typically made with ginger ale, grenadine syrup, and a maraschino cherry, was a favorite among children and adults alike. However, the irony was not lost on the actress herself. She once quipped that she was the only woman who ever entered the White House and came out without a drink. One of the most iconic and enduring products associated with Shirley Temple was the Shirley Temple doll. These dolls were meticulously crafted to resemble the young star, complete with her signature curls and outfits inspired by her film roles. Children across the nation clamored to own their very own Shirley Temple doll, and it became a cherished plaything for countless youngsters. Shirley's image also graced a plethora of other products, including trading cards, board games, and even stationery. Her presence was everywhere, and her popularity translated into a booming industry of Shirley Temple merchandise. Children could own a piece of Shirley, and her influence extended far beyond the silver screen. In 1985, Shirley Temple published her autobiography, Child Star, offering a candid and reflective account of her life in the spotlight. The book delved into her early days as a child performer, recounting the challenges and triumphs she encountered on her path to stardom. She openly discussed the commercialization of her image, the pressures she faced, and the unique experiences that came with being a child star. Shirley's enduring impact on American culture is evident in the continued popularity of her films. Generations of viewers have grown up watching her movies, and her work remains a cherished part of cinematic history. Her ability to bring joy and hope during the Great Depression through her on-screen performances left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who watched her. 
On February 10, 2014, Shirley Temple passed away at the age of 85. Her death marked the end of an era, but it also sparked an outpouring of tributes and condolences from around the world. She was remembered not only as a talented actress, but also as a remarkable woman who had left an indelible impact on American history. Shirley Temple's legacy lives on through her films, her contributions to diplomacy and public service, and the enduring affection of those who remember her as America's beloved child star. Her story is a testament to the enduring power of cinema and the ability of one individual to capture the hearts of millions. Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.